Hi there. My name is Ben, and you're watching Mori Speedruns. It is show number eight, and I'm filming this on November 8th, 2015. Our character's name is Noggle, and he's an elf mage, and he's hovering around 600 feet. He's level 17, and we're going to take him deeper into the dungeon today. We want to get down to 750 feet. That's where the invisible creatures are, and we don't have that invisible, uh, see invisible item, so it's probably going to be a tough time for us. Could die. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so uh, let's take a... Uh, I haven't played at all. Let's uh, go play from exactly where we left off last time, all right? Okay, let's play. Before we get started, let's check out the Wheel of Source Code. All right, let's spin it. Okay, calc spells. Print something. Wow, this is harder to read this time. Randnor. What's it going to be? Three, two, one, and stop. Calc spells. 151 lines long. Hokey, smoky. <laughs> Miss three calc spells. I think I know what this one is. How many spells do you get for what level you're on? J.E.W. James E. Wilson. The Jew. Calculate number of spells players should have and learn uh, forgotten spells until that number is met. Oy boy, this is the worst one. And this is something I've actually modified. So, um, coming in, our spell casting stat is either intelligence for mages and other spell casters, or it is wisdom uh, that goes with priests and paladins. So, that's a bit, uh, that's one way that this goes in two different directions, this function. <laughs> Check to see if we know any spells greater than level. So, the player has a level, and all these spells have a level, so we just go through all the spells backwards, and if we, let's see, if we have learned it, and the level is more than our level, okay, that's how we go about forgetting it. Oh yeah, because we've, we've learned it, and it's higher, so... Our player's level has dropped, and uh, yeah, so we say you've forgotten it. Huh. Okay, that's easy enough. Calculate the number of spells allowed. Won't go into that too much, but uh, you can see it kind of goes up with all these cases. Um, the deal is that that pumps out uh, a 0 to 7, and num allowed goes from 0 to a lot. Just go quickly over this. Um, let's see. Here's where we just count the spells we currently know after forgetting the ones earlier. Remember forgotten spells. So, okay, so now we have to go through and see which ones we've forgotten and remember them back. So that's what that chunk does. All right, almost there, folks. Determine which spells the player can learn. So this is the real thing. This is the normal, the normal spot where you learn a spell. You haven't learned it, and the spell is smaller than or equal to the level we're currently at. The bam, we learn it. Or no, we do we learn it. We just point to it. <laughs> New spells just equals where that is in the list. Interesting. Uh, if new spells is less than zero, then this is a special case, folks. This is where, um, what is this? Less than zero. Wow. So this is where that is negative. I th what I think that is is the very start when rogues can't learn any. I think that means they're negative. So rogues and rangers will hit this chunk, I believe. Hmm. That's a bit of a mystery, that chunk there. Finally, at the very bottom, we see if our new spells variable points to 
our old new flat new spells variable and um, if it's if this is something and that is nothing if they're different then we say we can learn some new spells but bam this is actually the thing that puts the study flag on the screen phew all right I didn't really do that one justice but there you go that gives you a sense of what's going on there Callers gain level. So when you gain a level, it calcs spells. Makes sense, right? Okay, that concludes the Wheel of Source code for this episode. That's MISC3 and the calc spells function. All right, let's check out the gameplay, shall we? Hey, hey folks. <clears throat> All right, let's play some more. I've been looking forward to this. Um, just so you know, uh, if you take a look at this run number right here, run eight, that means that uh, well, every time I restart the game, every time I start a session, I mean, this goes up by one. So with this number right here, you can actually tell whether I played in the last week or not. And uh, last time it was seven, and now it's eight. So... We are starting off from exactly where we left off. Timer has started, let's play. Okay, 600 feet. We were gonna go down because we were finding this pretty easy, weren't we? Oh, but I remember we just about died right here because we cloned a bunch of these icky things. They're right over here. Let's go kill them, shall we? Where did they go? They were following me. There's one. Oh. 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 <laughs> what a great start. What a great start. 13 mana. So the issue is something's invisible and it's right beside us. I don't see any detect invisible stuff. Um, things that are invisible usually can go through walls, so you might think it's a good idea just to cast a magic missile this way. But it really doesn't help. So, that is the issue here, folks. We need that seem visible item badly. Ugh. Well, let's use our scroll of phase door. Okay, I have a suspicion that the Banshee or whatever it is, the Lost Soul, whichever it is, is gonna come through this wall. So I'm gonna get a nice stinking cloud against that wall. Envelops a creature, but it's the creeping silver coins. <laughs> oh man. What do you say we just leave this level? We're going to be out of mana. Can I get to those stairs? I'm chickening out here, folks. All right. We just got owned at 600 feet. Trying to get down. Trying to get down to 750. So, where are we on the map? Mulberry staff and a birch staff and a rapier. Those staffs are heavy. Look at that. We got gems right up there, folks. You miss it. It hits you. Oh, well, we got it, whatever it is. Should we try to get that those gems up there? What do you think? Could be worth a lot. 58. Not really worth a lot. There are stairs down. We should reverse course, folks, and go back to those stairs. Ugh. 
What is he? A novice rogue. Leather cap. Just checked our leather cap there to see it hits you, but we're out of there. So you can see how the uh, invisibility is hurting us pretty bad. Hey, there's another one. 650, here we are. Wow. <laughs> this is one of our tougher rooms ever. So oh, we can't rest. Let's sleep him. All right, let's rest. Not bad. There's a Yeti. Let's uh, get a firebolt for him. One shot for him. Ooh wee, just a couple molds to go here. When a room is that kind of packed, you have to wonder if there's something invisible in it or not. I kind of want to check out this level a little bit more before we go down. Cleaning up on money, though. Just in case you're wondering what that is. Short bow. Nah. Just a hassle when you can cast all these fancy spells. An earth spirit. Alright, that takes care of him. What's that scroll? Trap detection. What's that? A small metal shield. It's got to be better than one we have. It's got to be. Watching our AC here. Yay, it's better. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's see that chart. Yeah, same as last time, right? Trying to get up to the next level, 18. Hey, there it is, level 18. A barrel ring. Well, let's put it on in place of our uh, slow digestion ring on our right hand. Watching all of our stats at once for a change. Oops, it feels deathly cold. Well, that's bad. Remove curse. And wear our slow digestion ring again. All right. Don't need to know what it is. So you might have recalled. Woo. You might recall that uh, we are trying to do this in record time. So there's two kinds of time. There's your number of turns, and there's the clock time. Uh, when we sit around and we sit there and we try to uh, identify things by resting, because it fails so often, that spell fails, it really jacks up our turns. Cat of nine tails. Flail. So we're just trying to do this the old fashioned way, you see. That cat of nine tails could be better than our dagger. <laughs> Let's wear it. 
Um, we're going to take a look at our two hit first. Minus two, minus one, two. Or just minus two, minus one. Okay, where? Well, it's not. It's the same. But it does have, does it have more of a, uh, no, it has the same uh, uh, die, hit die. All right. Can't hurt to uh, read that. Flail, that'll be too heavy for us. Now it's probably time to go down to the next level. There it is. Before we go, let's just check for some treasures. Nope. Hmm. Ooh. Could that be the amulet we need? Could it? Oh, that'd be so nice. Do I have an amulet on? We don't. Where? Amulet. Did anything happen to any of our stats there? Take off. Take off, eh? Take off B on head. Okay, we'll wear that again, and we're going to take a look at our stats all at one time here. Ready? Did our mana just jump up on that? Well, it's not cursed, right? It's not cursed. So, <laughs> um, we'll just uh, leave that on. Maybe it's something good. I doubt it. Maybe it's some kind of regeneration thing. Or maybe our mana just happened to regenerate at that time. Or maybe I'm just invisible. Maybe, but maybe the stats jumped up and I didn't even notice. What's that? A locust staff, eh? Two hundred and eleven. That's some nice money. Check our light. Five fifty nine. Want to see the gold chart? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're doing just fine with gold. And that amulet will help our score later on. So what's going on here? About a minute left to play. Or how long? I forget. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a minute. Got him. Oh, I kind of want to keep playing. These sessions just seem so short. So the amulet was not a seem visible amulet. We are still uh, not seeing things. That are invisible. Oh. That sucks. What got us? What went down? You are splashed with acid. Hard leather armor got it. That helps.
All right. Got him. Another ring, folks. Let's wear it on our right hand. Watching our stats. Ready? Well, it's not... Uh, I didn't see anything. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that did nothing. Oh, I want to keep playing. Oof. Wowee. Are we dead here or what? Can I make it to those stairs? We're out of time, just about. Oh, the yellow is the last five minutes. That's right. That makes more sense. So, how do we uh, do this here? Just hit him. Ouch. Hey, self. Yeah, we're out of mana. <laughs> Did I just kill us? Going for those stairs? Oh, man. Yeah, we could have just killed ourselves there. I'm gonna read our um, scroll of Word of Recall right now. There's the stairs, stepping on them, going down. Whoa, that was tight, folks. That was called, that's what's called almost dead. <laughs> oh, can we sleep? Yeah. And we're yanked up because we read the scroll of word of recall. But we did get to 750 feet. So that's not bad. Let's just do a quick sweep of the stores and see uh, if it has what we need. Checking our stats, Wiz, Dex, Con. Well, we got Con, we got Dex. Now heading over to the other spot. Looking for the Wisdom Potion. Don't see it. That's too bad. Checking for special stuff. 18. Just look at the, the prices real fast. You don't really have to look at everything, all the words. Just look at the prices. And lastly, let's check out the armor situation. Nothing really special. No, sir. We might buy some extra armor. Oh, and the last thing is the magic book. We have all this money. Be nice if we could get that magic book, and there it is. All right. Okay, folks, that concludes uh, the running session. Mm, I want to play some more, though. Don't you? Oh. All right, uh, let's check out Noggle in the charts, shall we? All right, all right, it's chart time, folks. Let's have a look at Noggle. Here he is. Okay, dungeon depth, up and down, experience points, up and up and up. And there's our 18th experience level there. We have a pretty good curve going here. Not that it's a curve, more of a line. <laughs> dungeon depth, we're at our lowest depth ever. Our hit points don't really show that close call we just had. I mean, we were just about dead there. Completely surrounded, nowhere to move, no way to get out. That was tight. 
Um, yeah. Armor class up and down. What can we see here? Uh... Yeah. Looks like our dexterity went down. Up by 700 or 600 gold pieces. We have a, a greater 2 AC now. Huh. How did that happen? Remaining XP needed 860. We'll get that in no time. Oh, I want to keep playing. Our cloak is bad. We know our hard leather armor got splashed, so it's bad. Inventory-wise, we've got a bunch of stuff. Now that we're back in the town, we can totally uh, sell all this stuff off. See what it is. Keep the good stuff. Maybe we'll buy back the good stuff. Who knows? Uh, we've been playing for 3 hours and 23 minutes. Okay, let's. Uh, there's our score. Let's see how it stacks up. Uh, 7.1 days. 750 is our lowest depth. And we're having, we haven't quite played as long as Magoo. I don't see us getting to 900 in the next session, though. Wah. Wah. For 45.40, for experience, we're not going to catch Magoo there, that's for sure. <laughs> Highest level, 18. We're doing better than Morel. Kills, 541. We're just behind him. So, uh, Magoo is really a lot more uh, adventurous than us. He has the same amount of kills, just about, but he's way higher level. Um, let's see. We are on top with highest hit points. Very good. Very good. We're on top in something. Highest armor class. Uh, 18 is kind of normal. Object picked up. Uh, 123, not, not a big deal. 3708, not a big deal there, and the all-important score. We are third place, because that amulet we found was not all that great. So, where do we go from here? Do you know um, where do we go from here? Well, those um, invisible creatures are really having their way with us down there, so I think uh, we'll try to buy some potions of Detect Invisible. That's the poor man's way of dealing with all that. Um, some people go a long time in the game without finding that sea invisible item. We don't want to go a long time without finding it, so we gotta we gotta do something about it. So in the next show, uh, we will. Uh, well, I'll probably play ahead a bit, but uh, I will sell all that stuff in our pack. Uh, I'll buy the magic book. What else? What else is on our two? We have to restore our dexterity and our constitution. Wisdom. What can you do? Uh, load up on food, load up on oil, and down we go again to 750 feet to get owned. <laughs> so yeah, if we have some detect invisible potions, it will go okay. Uh, on a personal note, uh, I went 7 for 7 on my workout session. Uh, 200, 2,000 calories burned per day. And uh, I'm at 14,000 for the week. The hard part is for the next week, though, so who knows if I'll be able to do it. All right. Until next time, I hope you are enjoying your game as much as I'm enjoying I want to keep playing, but i got to go work out. <laughs> All right. Until next time, bye-bye.